Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy Fitz1 TV here, aka Lauren 33 I'm back here today with another video on the channel for you guys. And today, we got some big things to talk about when it pertains to Dragon Ball Super, the future of the anime, and the manga, and the Dragon Ball franchise as a whole. I know we are eagerly waiting for the day when the new Dragon Ball anime is announced we know that we're getting the return of dragon ball anime in 2023 and we potentially could be getting two different dragon ball anime projects next year one of them will hopefully be the return of dragon ball super with the telling of the moral granola and whatever the future of the manga is and what we've been hearing uh, it seems that we're going to be getting a second anime um that you know going to be something different we don't i don't know what it is you know i don't know if it's dragon ball heroes I, I i just i we don't know but we do know that it seems like there's two different dragon ball anime projects that are planned right now plus we've already talked about this in the past uh we do know that they do plan to do another dragon ball movie in the next you know two three four years that's already in pre pre uh, uh production and um so uh, that's from the anime standpoint, but we got some big th stuff from Toriyama today. Toriyama did an interview in a magazine that, you know, relates to the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie and the timeline placement. And this is huge because this is directly going to affect the future of the Dragon Ball Super manga and any stories that they tell, right? We do know that this month, December, it's December 1st when I'm recording and releasing this video. We do know that the Dragon Ball Super manga will be restarting this month after it's been off on break the last couple months, right? And we know that the manga will be uh, retelling um, the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie, right? So Toritaro is going to be doing his own version of the DBS Super superhero movie in the manga. There won't there there'll be a couple probably different uh, changes, but for the most part, it'll be the same story you guys saw in the movie, right? Uh, also, just a quick side note, the Dragon Ball Super superhero uh, movie in comic book form um, is out as well. It's not a manga. It's just legit, li literally the movie, but told through a comic. So it just takes screenshots from the movie and, you know, uh, it tells the story of the movie with, you know, air bubbles and stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, if you want to read the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie in comics, that's out as well. You know, that just came out in the last couple of days. But here we have a preview page for the Dragon Ball Super manga, which will be returning this month on the 20th. Um, and we have a preview for manga chapter 88, which is crazy. We're getting close to 100 chapters. In about a year, we will hit the 100 chapter mark for dragon ball super um basically as you can see as goku and vegeta uh and then we have goten and trunks which you guys have already seen this uh in their you know their superhero outfits and basically we have, the description is the long-awaited new arc finally begins the heroes will be you two aka trunks and goten a prequel that connects the dragon ball super uh, or that connects to the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. While Goku and Vegeta are training on Beerus's planet, brand new heroes are born on Earth. Their secret identities are their sons, Trunks and Goten. So, um, in this chapter, we're going to see Goku and Vegeta, of course. They are back on Beerus's planet after the events of the Granola arc, right? Returning to Beerus's planet after... Uh, uh, finishing their battle with Granoa and, you know, the gas and the heater clan, right? And then being defeated by Frieza and his new black Frieza form. Um, they're going back to Beerus's planet to train, of course. So, you know, Goku and Vegeta, they'll probably be training with Beerus and Whis. Goku using Ultra Instinct, Beerus, or Vegeta using Ultra Ego. And we'll see how that goes. And as we get closer to the chapter itself... Uh, and we get more spoilers and more information. I will make videos like I always do. Uh, I would not be surprised. I'm going to give a little prediction right now. I think there's a chance we'll see Ultra and Sengoku versus Ultra Ego Vegeta in this chapter. All right. I think I could definitely see something happening where Goku and Vegeta are talking with Beerus and Whis about the battle with Granola and the battle with uh, Gas. And them talking about, you know, how Frieza came and kind of saved them and how Frieza came with a new form and is now stronger than ever, 
right? And he's, you know, actually now surpassed, you know, both Goku and Vegeta. So I can see them, you know, recapping that battle and then, you know, maybe eating a little bit like they always do. And then I can see them coming back uh, after, you know, eating and then, you know, you know, training a little bit. I could see them, you know, maybe Goku and Vegeta transform into their Ultra Instinct, Ultra Ego forms. And then, you know, I could see a panel where they're flying at one another and then it pans the goat and the trunks on Earth. And then the story goes from there. That's what I think could happen. You know, maybe uh, we see Goku and Vegeta go visit Broly. Maybe they're like, okay, you know, if we're gonna, you know, get stronger to face uh, Frieza again, we need to get Broly. I could definitely see that you know potentially happening but uh we'll just have to wait and see and you know uh see how uh things unfold but uh, i definitely am excited to see where they go with goku and vegeta uh but i think it'll probably be pretty similar to what happened in the superhero movie uh at some point goku and vegeta will get broly and then you know they'll train just like they did in the in the movie Right, um, and then it'll pan over the go to the trunks, and then we'll see. But yeah, you know, we got a little bit of a preview of the next manga chapter. You know, Goku and Vegeta training, and then of course go to the trunks. You know, becoming superheroes, which should be a lot of fun. So I want to talk about that real quick. But now getting into the more meaty part of the video. Like I said, Toriyama did a new interview discussing the DBS superhero movie, right? Um, and basically talk about its timeline placement. And this is big stuff. He says, and I quote, The movies up to now have followed major episodes in the 10 years between the original manga's uh, Majin Buu arc and the final chapter. Remember, guys. Dragon Ball Super was always, this is going back to 2014, 2015, right? When Dragon Ball Super was just getting started with the anime. You know, it was always supposed to be, Dragon Ball Super was always meant to take place in that 10-year time gap between the end of the Buu Saga and the final manga chapters of the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z manga, right? And they've stuck to that. Even with everything, think about it. We've gotten Beerus, we've gotten... Uh, Golden Frieza, we've had the Universe 6, Universe 7 Tournament, the Goku Black Arc, Tournament of Power, uh, Broly movie, Moro Arc, Granola Arc, Superhero movie, right? So we've had basically like, basically nine story arcs, you know, if you include the movies and the manga, right? We've had nine major story arcs in Dragon Ball Super, and then whatever's the plan after, you know, they retell the superhero movie in the manga, that will be, you know, number 10, right? That'll be the 10th uh, story arc. So, it, but with all of those stories that they've told over the last, you know, seven, eight years of Dragon Ball Super, um, they've kept it within the original Dragon Ball Super timeline, right? So, um, they are getting close to the end of Z, and that's something that we've always talked about, right? When would they reach the end of Z? If you've read the Dragon Ball Super manga, you read the end of the Moor arc, you know that Oob does have a major role in the end of that arc, even though Goku uh, technically hasn't met him yet. Goku knows who Oob is, right? Because remember, uh, Dende uh, shows Goku uh, uh, shows Goku Oob right as a little kid in you know before the tournament of power in both the anime and the manga uh but goku hasn't officially met Oob like they've you know said hello like that doesn't take place until the end of z so um every so goku knows who Oob is but they haven't done that story yet right where goku meets Oob at the end of z in the tournament uh in the martial in the world martial arts tournament and uh we've always asked when are they gonna get there Right, uh, because a lot of people want you know Dragon Ball Super to go past the end of Z, right, and tell more stories. Because of course they've always had things like you know everyone's alive, you know everyone's okay, because all the characters from the original and the original end of Z are alive, right? Nobody's dead at the end of Z for the most part. So uh, no matter what story they tell in Dragon Ball Super, you know everyone's gonna survive. People have felt like, you know, from a story standpoint, that doesn't really help them. So people want them to get to the end of Z so that they can tell more stories. And, you know, there could be a little, you know, a little less predictability. Right. Um, 
And of course, people want Oob to get involved as well. You know, Oob's a very popular character and uh, to Dragon Ball fans. So, you know, there has been questions. Will, you know, does that conflict with Dragon Ball GT? Since even though GT is not canon and GT takes place in its own separate timeline, you know, there's many people that um, feel like Dragon Ball Super going past the end of Z kind of, would kind of mess things up with GT. But remember, there it's, it's separate shows, separate timelines. You know, GT is not Toriyama's work. You know, so that it's there. It's two separate shows. Even though it's Dragon Ball, it's still two separate shows. Um, so yeah. But anyway, uh, we do know with superhero, right? Uh, one thing that's obvious about superhero being close to the end of Z is, of course, Goten and Trunks being aged up a little bit more. They're now t- finally teenagers. They're 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 older. You know, they're getting more t- into their teen years, right? So that's pretty obvious that they're getting closer to the end of Z. Goten and Trunks finally being a little bit older, and of course, Pan's age as well. Uh, so getting back into Toriyama's quote, superhero is a story right before the final chapter, so we are very close. It doesn't say that it's like days or, you know, months before the final chapter in terms of, like, specific timeline placement, but he's telling you right here that specifically, this is a story right before the final chapter of the original manga. Thanks to the excellent director and staff, it was well received as the best yet to all those who saw it. Even though, in my opinion, I would say that Dragon Ball Super Broly was the best uh, Dragon Ball uh, Super film of the Dragon Ball Super era. Um, but either way, um, still, Dragon Ball Super Superhero was a great movie. I just think Broly was better. Um, but uh, he says. Uh, I'm glad I was able to take part in it too. If I may to my own horn. With the anime comics, you can easily enjoy that consistently wonderful co- uh, quality and might also discover many new things. Please check out every little nook and cranny. So he also gives a nice little plug to the anime comic, which I said earlier. The, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero comic, it's not a manga. It's legit just the movie being told in comic book form. You know, screenshots of the movie uh, with air bubbles. And then you you might even, you know, notice some, you know, little tablets that you didn't notice when you actually watched the movie. Right. So uh, go go buy the comic if uh, that's something that you're interested in. And I believe they did uh, something for the Broly movie as well. I think they did a Dragon Ball Super uh, Broly comic. So. You know, the, this is very comic. It's very common for them to turn, you know, movies in the comic book form. They do this all the time in Japan. Uh, but yeah. So basically, this is them telling you that they are very close to the end of Z. Very, very close. And here's another thing. I want to say thank you to Herms98 on Twitter for getting us the translation. But he says here, you know, uh, as like a follow up. Pan is three years old in the movie and is four going on five at the end of the manga, said to be four in the uh, in the series itself. And she turns five and she turns five the year per the official timeline. So Tariyama's right before apparently means about a year before. At any rate, he's aware that they're getting close. And that's the big thing, right? The fact that Toriyama is says, you know, that they are near the end of Z. Right, that this takes place before the final chapter. He is self-aware that they are very close to the end of Z. Dragon Ball Super was always kind of, you know, like this giant flashback in a way. Because, you know, the end of Toriyama's manga was the end of Z. Where Goku uh, meets Oob. That's the way it's all, you know, that's the way it's always been. That's... That could be changed. We'll have to wait and see. I do think it's very, very likely that they will go past the end of Z and then they'll tell stories beyond that because Dragon Ball is way too popular not to. I don't think they're going to just end Dragon Ball just because they finally reach the end of Z. I think, the, you know, as long as Toriyama is alive, right, because Dragon Ball, the people that do anything Dragon Ball, they know how much Toriyama's name value means to this to this brand. It's his creation. Um, as long as Toriyama is alive, you know, I think they're they're gonna do everything they can to keep this franchise going and to tell you know new stories. All right, I don't think Dragon Ball will be ending anytime soon. So, 
Well, you know, uh, what does this mean? The fact that Toriyama says that this takes place right before the final chapter is that he knows that they're getting close, you know? And that means, you know, I would guess this is now, this is just me speculating, right? I would guess that what they might do, and like I said, this is me speculating. I don't know Toriyama and Toritaro's, you know, what their plans are. I would guess uh, what they're going to do is um, they're going to tell the manga. In the manga right now, they're going to tell the story of the superhero movie. And then the next arc could either be Goku meeting Oob, right? Maybe they do a chap like one chapter where they retell the, you know, Goku meeting Oob, right? And then the next big arc will go past that. And maybe that will be Goku training Oob and then, you know, all that other stuff. I think that's where they could be going, right? Because there's really no reason for them not to. Unless Toriyama really doesn't want to, you know, uh, tell stories past the end of Z and he just wants to have a hard stop there, then there's no reason why they shouldn't go past the end of Z. There's so much that they can do just with every, what they've introduced in Dragon Ball Super, right? There's so much that they can do with characters like Oob. You know, you can have him meet Beerus and Whis. You can have him meet Broly. There's there's so many different things that, you know, so we'll just have to, you know, go from there and see what happens, you know. But they, the fact that they are self-aware and the fact that Toriyama is, is saying this in interviews, you know, that should tell you that he, him and his team, the people that he works on on the manga and the anime and all that other good stuff, they know that they're getting close, right? And they're probably having discussions about what they want to do. And I think it's likely because they know how popular Dragon Ball is and they want to keep this going as long as Toriyama is alive and in good health, which he is, right? You know, they're going to want to keep telling stories. They, you know, they're going to want to tell stories. They're going to want to, you know, make new movies and, you know, keep this going, you know? And like I said, we don't know. We won't know what the next Dragon Ball anime is until it's announced in the next, you know, whenever it is, right? It's probably, we're probably getting the announcement sometime this month. But, you know, until we get the, the, the announcement, we, we don't know, right? Um, but we do, all we do know is that they are aware that they're getting close, and that is very exciting because that means that there's so much that they can do. We know that, the, you know, the anime is coming. We know that the manga is going to keep going. We know that they're, they're playing another movie to come out in the next three, four years. So um, we just got to be patient. And really to see where it goes. But the fact that Toriyama says here that they are very, very close to the end of Z is what matters. And, it, it, you know, that's huge. And it's exciting because that can mean so much for the future of Dragon Ball. And it gives us stuff to talk about. And it gives us stuff to be excited about. Don't go out there trying to spread fake news, though. Like, you know like that they're actually going past the end of Z. We don't. He doesn't say that here. We just know that they are very aware that they are close to the end of Z. And, you know, we'll just have to see what that means for the future of Dragon Ball Super. And it's, it's exciting. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds, God willing, uh, for Dragon Ball. Because I love this franchise. And I, I'll never stop loving it. Um, but, yeah, give me your predictions. What do you guys think? You know, uh, well, is Toriyama going to go past the end of Z? Uh, is it going to be just another movie? Is it going to be something else? What do you guys think is the future of Dragon Ball Super? And, you know, and let's, you know, uh, let's talk about it in the comment section. And, yeah, I'm excited. This, I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys are excited about and what your predictions are. Uh, but other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel by kicking the bell ring. my name, Fitzpunk TV. So you guys are notified every time I post a new video. As always, I'll keep you guys updated with everything Dragon Ball. This is your place uh have a good day guys see you later peace